Well, what happens with the Supreme Court and the president's nominee have been energizing for both sides of the aisle with just weeks left in this campaign. It also sets up the future of some landmark cases in the U.S. Both of those were talked about last night, so we decided to take a closer look. First stop is a claim made by the vice president about the potential of packing the court. Your party is actually openly advocating adding seats to the Supreme Court, which has had nine seats for 150 years if you don't get your way. This, this is true, and it's really not been a secret. Democrats, both in office and in private life, have been calling for the next Democratic president with the Democratic Senate to do what's called packing the court. It's the idea of expanding the number of seats on the court to move the ideological majority to one side. So far, both Biden and Harris have refused to answer whether they support the idea, both saying it would be a distraction from the issues of the campaign, but neither opposing the idea. Next is a history lesson from Senator Harris she used to criticize the nomination of Judge Amy Coney Barrett. And it was 27 days before the election, and a seat became open on the United States Supreme Court. Abraham Lincoln's party was in charge not only of the White House, but the Senate. But Honest Abe said it's not the right thing to do. We're going to call this one be careful because while the history is right, the senator's characterization isn't fully accurate. Harris is talking about the death of Chief Justice Roger Taney, who died 27 days before the election of 1864. According to records, Lincoln did wait to announce his replacement until December after winning re-election. But understandings at the time show Lincoln acted more out of political shrewdness to win the election rather than wanting the American people to vote first. Finally, many predict abortion rights to be a major issue should Barrett be confirmed. Here's a claim from Pence about where his opponents stand. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris support taxpayer funding of abortion all the way up to the moment of birth. This is false. Both Biden and Harris are supporters of abortion, although neither has explicitly said they're in favor of late-term abortions or those after 27 weeks of pregnancy. Both have said they want to codify Roe v. Wade, the case which made abortion legal in the U.S., into law. That ruling does allow states to start restricting abortions in the third trimester, so supporting codification would also be supporting that portion of the ruling. And in our most recent polling, the majority of Michigan voters sided with Harris on issues of filling the court's vacancy and keeping Roe in place.